हेलो गाइस सो नाउ आवर टॉपिक इज द एनेस्मोसिस अराउंड द एल्बो जॉइंट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट ईयर एमबीबीएस दिस इज द ह्यूमरस रेडियस एंड द अल्ला हियर इज द ब्रेकियल आर्टरी हियर इज द ब्रेकियल आर्टरी द ब्रेकियल आर्टरी ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम द एक्सिलरी आर्टरी इट गिव्स द प्रोफंडा फेमोरिस आर्टरी इट गिव्स द प्रोफंडा फेमोरिस आर्टरी द मेन ब्रांच ऑफ द ब्रेकियल आर्टरी This is the brachial artery. It gives the profunda femoris branch. Profunda femoris branch gives the two main arteries, like this and this. The anterior descending branch and the posterior descending branch. The anterior descending branch is also known as the radial collateral artery. and the posterior descending branch is also known as the medial the middle collateral artery <clears throat> the posterior descending branch passes posteriorly from the lateral epicondyle and the anterior descending branch passes in front of the lateral uh, epicondyle now the brachial artery itself also gives the two main branches superior ulnar collateral artery and the inferior ulnar collateral artery the superior ulnar collateral artery and the inferior ulnar collateral artery the superior ulnar collateral artery passes behind the middle epicondyle and the inferior passes in front of the uh, middle epicondyle then let's draw one more diagram yeah like this so this is the brachial artery the brachial artery divides at the head of the radius into the radial artery and the ulnar artery now as we have seen above if you go here is coming the superior ulnar collateral artery and the inferior ulnar collateral artery superior ulnar collateral artery and inferior ulnar collateral artery from here fronda femoris artery there are coming the anterior descending branch and the posterior descending branch anterior known as the radial collateral and the posterior known as the middle collateral now from the ulnar artery the branch arises which anastomos which anastomos with the inferior ulnar collateral artery name as the anterior ulnar recurrent artery anterior ulnar recurrent artery and from the ulnar artery one more branch originate and anastomose with the superior ulnar collateral artery known as the posterior ulnar recurrent artery it's called recurrent because it goes upward recurrent because it goes goes upward and collateral because it goes downward so the posterior ulnar recurrent artery and anastomose with the superior ulnar collateral artery now from the ulnar artery one more branch originates known as the common interosseous artery known as the common interosseous artery which pierces the interosseous membrane and from the common interosseous artery the one more artery uh, originate known as the interosseous recurrent artery known as interosseous recurrent artery this this interosseous recurrent artery and anastomose with the posterior descending branch and anastomose with the posterior descending branch or also known as the middle collateral artery now from the radial artery the an artery originates known as the radial recurrent artery known as the radial recurrent artery this radial recurrent artery and anastomose with the anterior descending branch also known as the radial collateral artery because it goes downward and radial recurrent upward now we have the mnemonic as simmer pair this is the mnemonic this mnemonic shows us that the superior ulnar collateral artery superior ulnar collateral artery and next to most of the posterior ulnar recurrent branch then 
we have the i from i show us that's the inferior ulnar recurrent artery and estomos with the anterior ulnar recurrent branch and m m shows us that the middle collateral artery the posterior one name as the middle collateral artery and estomos with the introsious recurrent artery with the i and r r shows us that the radial collateral artery also known as the anterior and descending branch or anterior collateral branch and estomos with the radial recurrent artery so this is the mnemonic known as the simmer pair with each other like this like this this is the anastomosis around the elbow joint thank you so much take care